So hello guys, and welcome to another episode of Racing News. And first up we have today is some both exciting and disappointing news about Nintendo Switch Online. Exciting because it's Excitebike 64, and disappointing because everyone was expecting Mario Party 3. So yeah, earlier on um, Pioro, um, that one person who's been leaking a lot of things on Twitter, like Super Mario Bros. Wonder, the Mario RPG remake, Sonic Superstars, and even more recently, like some content from Sonic Superstars, like the one um, Sonic Rabbit beta design that was actually um, added as a skin in Sonic Superstars. So I think that's pretty interesting that they've leaked that, and they've also leaked like other things too, like Pokemon and stuff like that. But most recently, they said that a new Nintendo 64 game was going to be announced for Nintendo Switch Online, and a lot of people were expecting Mario Party 3, because that was one of the games announced back at the September Direct last year. So, yeah, it, in Mario Party 1 and 2 were also added in November of last year, so it's been nearly a year that we've been waiting for Mario Party 3, and it's weird since we already have the other Mario Party games on there, so yeah, it's just pretty weird that they've been waiting this long to add Mario Party 3. It would have definitely made sense if it was one of the first ones added on there, along with the Mario Party, like the other Mario Party games, since Mario Party 3 is highly anticipated and is definitely considered one of the best Mario spin-offs and Mario Party games on the Nintendo 64, and I guess Mario Party games in general. I've heard a lot of great things about Mario Party 3, but it's a little unfortunate that we'll have to wait longer for that. But yeah, Excite Bike 64, it doesn't look bad at all. I mean, um, I might have exaggerated a little bit on Twitter about my thoughts on Excite Bike 64 as being a filler game, but yeah, even though at first glance it kind of does seem like one of those Nintendo Switch Online filler games that they sometimes add, I heard some good things about Excite Bike 64. Apparently, it has a 3D stage builder, which sounds really cool. Um, I know the original Excite Bike had like a stage builder and everything, so it's cool that this one also has that, but um, in 3D and everything. That's pretty cool. And. Um, the gameplay looks pretty good as well. Um, I kind of heard that it was um, a pretty fun game in general. Kind of one of the Nintendo 64's hidden gems and everything. Um, but yeah, I, I'll definitely check out Excitebike 64 when that releases on Nintendo Switch Online. So the next bit of news here is pretty disappointing. I know the last one was kind of subjective, um, depending on like how much you wanted Mario Party 3 on Nintendo Switch Online. Uh, I know I really wanted that a lot, but the, the next one here is just... yeah. So, it involves Denuvo, which is pretty controversial and infamous for a variety of reasons, and basically they were approved to make a software, or I guess a middleware on the Nintendo Switch that blocks um, PC emulation for Switch games. And on the surface, it's just like, oh, N Nintendo is like doing like an anti-piracy thing again. That's not really out of the ordinary. They usually do stuff like that. But this is kind of a different situation. So... Denuvo is known for making, like, software middleware for PC games, um, for different things like stopping, like, um, cheat- like, anti-cheating things, anti-piracy, stuff like that for PC games that is known for significantly slowing down the performance for games, like the frame rate, and just making the overall experience worse. Um, I've seen a lot of things about it in the past, but it is- not very good at all. And the fact that it's coming to the Switch and is being used as like a tool for developers for putting games onto the Switch and everything is just going to make things a lot worse for running certain games on the Switch. And yeah, this is pretty disappointing. 
I don't think Nintendo is going to utilize this middleware themselves. I don't really think they're going to risk doing that because Nintendo already has their own procedures with things. This is more of like a tool for like third party developers um, from what it seems on here, um, which it still is pretty disappointing because that means there's going to be a lot of third party games that will potentially not run well on the Switch. But at least it really isn't likely for Nintendo to utilize this um, themselves. But yeah, it's um, a pretty disappointing situation here. And the weird and almost kind of funny thing about this is the announcement they used for this on Twitter, or I guess the platform formerly known as Twitter, since it's now called X, um, they recently like put out like a thing with it, like a graphic showing their announcement for this on the Switch. And it has like AI art in the background, which looks horrible. It like, it kind of looks like they were trying to emulate like Tears of the Kingdom or Breath of the Wild or something. And then it like, it just spat out something like really weird and just like unsettling and kind of funny. But it's just like, it, it just kind of goes to show like, how weird the situation is overall and yeah but hopefully this doesn't really impact too many games on the switch but yeah so anyways thank you guys for watching this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more and make sure to check out my discord server and amazon affiliate link if you want to goodbye